Director for conducting business is the petitioner for each item will be asked to come forward, state your name for the record, and present his or her request. The board will ask any questions they may have. And then anyone wishing to speak to the proposal will be asked to come forward and voice their opinions. Each side, if there are two sides, will have 10 minutes to speak. Once your request is heard and the board's decision is rendered, you may leave the meeting. However, if you have questions for staff, please wait until the meeting is over to ask them, or you may contact staff at the office on the following day. Once public testimony for a particular item are concluded, the members will, of the board will deliberate and render a decision. Members with a personal or financial interest in any request are required to recuse themselves from voting. All decisions by the Architecture Review Board are final. Any aggrieved parties may appeal a decision of the board to the City Council within 15 days for procedural issues only. If your request is denied by the board, petitioners may appeal the board's decision to the Circuit Court within 30 days of the meeting. We have five members present. It takes five members to pass a motion. Because of the number of board members present, if you would like to delay your request, please let us know at the time your request is announced. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce members of the Architecture Review Board. To my left, probably your right, uh, Kalia Bell. Then Katie Johnson. I'm sorry, why did I say that? Katie Williams, uh, John Foshee, and John Hayden. All right. The first project is, we have to wait for my computer to roll back up to the top of the screen. Renee Lindsay, Cloverdale, Idlewild, 663 Hubbard Street. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about your project. Um, I am requesting permission to install a six-foot uh, privacy fence. Initially, it was uh, the request to was to be installed along the very back of the fence in the rear. Um, however, I'm now going to ask to enclose the entire uh, all three sides mm -hmm. um, as I've found out the property to my right um, is now up for rent and will rent to potential renters with with dogs and it rents or, or it's listed as a fenced in backyard but that side of the fence is barely up so I'm wanting to uh, block off my dogs from the from all the other dogs to keep the peace and to keep the dogs from getting hurt. Okay. Any comments from the board? She does have sections of existing privacy fence uh -huh. that are at the rear of the house in, in a section going toward the backyard. Uh -huh. And we did advertise this as a rear yard privacy fence and not just a section. So okay. um, I don't think there's an issue with the amendment. <clears throat> Is this Renee, is this basically going to, I walk by your house all the time, I live on Maston Lane, is this basically just going to tie all of the privacy fence together? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's what I thought, I've looked at it several times. Are, are you planning to paint or stain? I'm sorry? Are you planning to paint or stain the on, new fence? On my or? side, there's um, the outside portion I won't be able to get to once, yeah. because there's already existing fence and I'm just going to put up against the existing fence and build around the trees. So match the existing <coughs> fence? I'm sorry? Match the existing fence? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any comments from the audience? Mr. Colvin, how are you today? Good. How are you today? Fine. Charlie Colvin with the Cloverdale Idlewild Association, the CIA. We have no objections to the project. Good fences make good neighbors particularly where there's dogs concerned. Yes, sir. Keep the noise down. All right. Any further questions from the board? May I have a motion then? Move to 
I move to approve as presented. Second. Any further questions? All in favor? All opposed? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Go and build your fence. All right, our next one is from John Burns, 2007 Madison Avenue, Capitol Heights. I would like to uh, request uh, that my privacy fence be extended from the, from the rear of the house up the side of my yard to the front of the existing privacy hedge there. The, uh, the place next door to me there, it trades out tenants, you know, between one and three years and sometimes they're good sometimes they're not so good you know and i just would like to be able to come out on my front porch and not have to deal with the ones that aren't quite so good <coughs> you know all right i get that right now we've got a good tenant but <laughs> in about a year i never know <laughs> you know what's what's going to show up there so all right and you're going to match the existing fence Yes, ma'am. It'll be a six-foot dog-eared fence. Okay. And dye it into the end, edge of that hedge? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It will. <coughs> Any other questions from the board? Any questions from the audience? Then may I have a motion, please? Move to approve as presented. Second. All in favor? Excellent. Opposed? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Tammy Brazil, uh, 835 Park Avenue, Old Cloverdale. Two car parking area. Hi, I'm Tammy Brazel, and I'm asking for approval after the fact of a landscape parking area. Um, we live in the Can corner. Can we put the microphone a little closer to your mouth? Uh, Thank you. Um, where we live on Park Avenue, there's a curve. So when you're backing out of the driveway, it's pretty dangerous. I've almost been hit. My 16-year-old's almost been hit. A friend's car was actually a victim of a hit and run when parked overnight. So this parking area just allows us to back in and pull out forward. Mm -hmm. um, and it is landscaped. The bushes are 18 inches tall. Um, Any questions from the board? Comments from the board? Yeah. Well, it looks really nice, frankly. But much, it, it, will, it will do very well when the bush, bushes get a little bigger. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any comments from the audience? Dorby Forrester representing the Old Cloverdale Association. We did discuss that in our uh, association meeting and we have um, historically opposed parking pads in front yards and so we're gonna, you know, be consistent with that. Okay. Further comments from the board? I do. Has a, when you use it, does it feel safer now to get out of your... It, it does. I also, I have a 16-year-old and a 15-year-old that just received her permit, so it is much better than, than navigating that on a daily basis. That, uh, because you're across the street from the church, you probably see a lot more traffic than normal? Um, right. Yes, yeah. and it actually allows people from the church, we allow them to park there as well on Sundays, so it's I feel like it's helping in that area, in that respect as well. I'd like to make a motion to approve as submitted. Second. 
All in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to say to you. Yep. Lee Hassel, 1214 Woodward Avenue, Old Cloverdale. Hello. Thank you. Um, what we're proposing is twofold. The first is the existing, there's a door on the back side of the house that's in a bedroom. What we're asking to do is basically take it off of there and put it on the side of the house where you can exit the house from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And you can tell at some point in the past there was a door there that had been closed in that was probably, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what it was there for, but it's removed, siding up on the back side to mat where the two bedroom ends will match, moving a door so that you can exit and enter the house from the kitchen there on the driveway side. And then you can see that. Uh, glass block. The second thing is that glass block window. That's a that's a bathroom addition there on the back, is that's where the shower is. It's just we'd like to remove that glass block and just side over that. A relic that of 1985, section. no doubt. Ma'am. A relic of 1985, no doubt. <laughs> it's not very attractive. <laughs> and if you can see the where the door was, is will just be wall on inside and out, and it actually matches the other side. Okay and allows us to put to access and exit the house from the right in the kitchen on the side of the house. And it's about, if, if we're moving the door to the kitchen, it's 25 or 30 inches off the driveway. So what we propose is just building a little wood um, platform that matches the deck that's on the front of the house and paint the, the rails, the trim color and the, uh, the decking, the, like a light gray color that's already on the front porch. All right. Comments from the board? Is this picture of a door, the door you're going to put that's in? That's the door that was taken. That's the back, okay. the door that was already there. We, what we'd like to do is just reuse that. It'll swing in into the kitchen. Any other comments? And from the audience? Darby Forrester with the Old Cloverdale Association. Uh, Lee did come to our meeting and present his um, plans, and we have no objection. All right. Any other comments from the board? Then may I have a motion? Madam Chair, I move to um, approve as submitted. All right. A second. I I'm sorry. I'm going to amend that. Approve as um, pre presented. Presented. That's okay. the right word. Thank you. Second. All in favor? Opposed? All right. You've got it. Thank you very much. All right, Christina Cadden or Caden? It's Cadden. Okay. Uh, 1616 South Perry Street, Garden District. Thank you. I'm Christina. I'm proposing three items today. The first one will be an eight foot privacy fence along the rear property. Um, right now on the other side, we have an apartment building that they are restoring right now. And so we just, and there's currently a really um, damaged three foot chain link fence that uh, people are breaking into the apartments and then crossing through our property. Um, so we're just trying to put up a, a fence that will deter people from jumping over into our property. Um, we're going to be doing that with pressure treated uh, eight foot with the dog eared wood. And then um, the second item is on the back of the carriage house. I don't know if you want to scroll. <coughs> oh, that's what the fence is going to look like. And then our section will have the, um, that. So you'll see the on our side. And then we're putting all um, viburnum hedge all along that side so you won't even see the fence after a little bit of time. Um, second thing, we have a awning on the back side of the carriage house that's failing currently from the weight of the concrete tiles. Um, 
We've tried to source the same concrete tiles. Um, a giant tree put a hole in the carriage house a couple years ago. So we're we'll repairing that and we're gonna be pulling the cement tiles off of the awning and replacing the roof with those tiles. And we're suggesting a um, standing seam metal to go back on top of that. One of the reasons for that is the weight of the tiles. And then also we will color match it um, so that it looks the same. And you can't even see that, especially once that fence is going back up as well. And the third one, um, currently the front of the house when we purchased it was missing all of the bottom um, shutters. And then we are proposing to take those off of the house. Um, we're gonna store them and down the road if that comes time to put them back up, but right now we're requesting to permanently take them down, but we will be storing all of the shutters as well as the hardware, just in case. And they're in pretty much, you know, really bad shape, so we would have to replace um, about 85% with brand new shutters. They're beyond saving. And so that's the awning that you can see. All right, let me see if I get this on the privacy fence. It's just going Sorry, to go. Sorry, that was a lot. It's, we, let's start with the first one. Okay. <laughs> the privacy fence is going to go behind to the rear of the house yes. and it will end at Howard Street. Yes. All right. And then for to make sure that you can pull out of the apartments, we're going to step down at the 18 foot. Okay. Or cut in so that it, either way, we'll make yes. sure that you can't see it. Yes. Um, eight feet is higher than we usually, doesn't you have to go to the Board of Adjustment for that? They do not because they were rezoned as a B1BQ and there is no height limitation in a B zoning for a fence. Okay. So they do not, they do not have to. And <laughs> if you saw the view through that, you'd, you'd want an eight foot <laughs> fence too. <laughs> I'm having trouble hearing everybody tonight. <coughs> the the apartments behind them came in front of y'all within the last six or nine months because they had they had started doing work without permission. I remember that. Um, it's still under construction. It's never going to be a great apartment complex. <clears throat> Was that the modern one? Is it what? Yeah. So we're just making, I mean, it's more for safety reasons is really the, the proposition of the eight foot. All right, what was item number two now? That was the concrete um, or cement tiles off of the awning to replace um, the damaged ones off of the roof and replace it with the proposed um, single seam that you see right there in higher picture quality. Yeah, I think those tiles weigh like 700 pounds a square or something. So. They do, and they're original from France. Uh -huh. And so we have tried everything we could to find replacements or at least anything similar. And what's nice is with the awning, that'll give us about 90% of what we need. And then we found actually buried in the backyard is probably the remaining 10%. So okay. we think with what we have, we can be able to fix the the side and you won't I mean you can't even see it currently mm -hmm. but once we put up the fence you would there's it, it's not visible at all okay. <coughs> and um, it needs to be jacked up as well because it's yeah. it's everything in the garden district yeah <laughs> so if you look at the house Le sideways leaning one way or the other mm -hmm. uh, any comments from the board on the concrete tile and the solution what's the color of the uh, standing seam you're going to use we're going to color match it exactly to the same as the concrete tiles. So it's like the concrete tile. A grayish, color. blackish. Oh, okay. I have a choice. <laughs> I was going to say, no. I brought one. Hang on a second. Sorry, I forgot. And then the color of the fence. Are you hiding it? Are from? you just keeping it wood? We're going to keep try to it natural it? and just okay. seal it. So that's, <laughs> that's what's on. Was a, was a portion of one of the concrete tiles. So a giant branch of one of the trees came down and took out, I mean, you, there's been a hole in the ceiling of the carriage house the last five years. The house sat vacant for six years, so a lot of the exterior and the carriage house has been neglected. 
so you'll see me a lot in the next couple months. Colored through and through. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, and our last one was the, the, the shutters. blinds on the house. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Shutters are solid. Shutters are shuttered. <laughs> what? Did they just take those off and put them somewhere? Did somebody steal them or what? So I think some of them are stolen. <laughs> I think some of them are stolen. Half of them are in such bad disrepair that we picked one up the other day and it just crumbled in our hands. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other half, I don't, I mean, I don't know. There's, I know that there's some windows that look like they were never put shutters on. Um, and so I, I know this is probably, an unpopular opinion. I think it looks better without the shutters. I think the brickwork is so unique that it really makes the brick and the architectural factor of that stand out more. And the shutters, to me personally, take away from that. But I know that's an unpopular opinion. By unpopular, she means I frowned when she asked <laughs> me that. So just so we're clear. <clears throat> But we are storing them. We're not going to just throw them away. You know, we're going to put them in the basement, and then if we ever feel like it needs them back up, that's when we're going to kind of revisit that idea. But I don't want to commit to putting them back up, and then if we love them without, then, you know, telling you a lie. Oftentimes, the proportions of the house depend on the shutters to make it look balanced. Mm -hmm. In this case, not as much as on some houses. Mm -hmm. I'd be interested in other comments. Looking at the front of the house without the shutters, I like it. I, I think it would look fine with shutters or without. I agree sometimes it does kind of <laughs> complete it, but. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes there's too much space in between the windows when the blinds are put up originally, but this one doesn't have too much space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they're very close. But then, you know, if you looked at a federal period house, which this is fashioned after, it would have, you know, the, the shutters would almost be close and touching one another. It seems to me that because the front would be your more primary entry and it currently has no shutters, to follow it through around the rest of the house kind of makes sense. I would like to see just sort of document it and keep it all together with your, you know, Oh yeah, we're definitely going to keep everything and, and we're so keeping all the hardware and everything just in case. Okay. All right. Should we take the items separately or together or just, I guess that depends on whether or not you all agree on everything. All right. I, First, is there any comment from the audience on this project? You can certainly do them separately if you want to. Okay. <clears throat> any other comments from the board about this project? Then I would welcome someone to craft a motion yeah, I know, I know. I know where she's looking. She's looking. At I'm you. looking at you. You're looking, looking, at, at, you're the, looking at the lawyer. I know. Oh, uh, I am. All right. Uh, just for simplicity, let's just take them one at a time. All righty. I would move to approve uh, the petitioner's request as submitted to install the privacy fence. All in favor? Opposed. All right. Second, I would move to approve as presented the petitioner's request to use or salvage or to uh, take the tiles from the carriage house, use them, and uh, that, that particular request concerning the tiles and to use the metal fencing and to paint the uh, metal fencing, metal roof, and paint to match. All in favor? Third and finally, I would move to approve the petitioner's request to remove the remaining shutters from the house, since many of them are missing, 
And from the picture I see, those that are remaining do not look in very good shape. And I also request you be given permission not to replace them at this time. All in favor? All right. All right. Very Thank good. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You're good welcome. luck. Hey, I was in court today. I'm, I'm on the zone. <laughs> I got dressed down by a judge in Dothan, Alabama. So I'm. Thank you for coming, then. You probably need something besides that water to drink. <laughs> no, just think it We're getting close. We're getting close. All right. All right. Mr. Aspinwall, how are you today? Doing good. Good. I need to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that's good. All right. You've got uh, <coughs> an approval for new fence, porch, and porch railing for the property located at 624 Park Avenue. Right. I'm representing the homeowner. He's had some problems with security. Uh, he would like to put an automatic gate in the driveway. And also, this is going to collect the neighbor's house, too, to block anybody from going through the alleyway between the two of them. Um, and then what in the picture there, there's a railing that's coming down off of an old concrete porch. Mm -hmm. And he wants to eliminate that and just put, he called it a, a, a Romeo and Juliet porch, a little eight by eight mm -hmm. porch right there and no access from the drive, you know, just basically coming out from the house. And then the front porch, it's basically concrete now and using that same railing and going across the front. Okay. It's uh, approximately 20 feet across the porch. All right. <coughs> Comments from the board? John, there were some, I think, concerns about using spear points on the railing on the porch. Does he want to use spear point railing? It, it would have a handrail. You wouldn't have points on a handrail. Okay. What about, is he going to install railing on the porch itself? Install railing on the porch? Yes. Both porches. In other words, the front existing porch and the new porch that will be created when we take the steps out. Okay. We'll have a handrail porch. But n n the porches themselves will not have the spear point railing either. Correct. Okay. They may have gotten drawn in there, I don't know. If, well, it but, looked like it had, and I thought that's, yeah. you know, either someone trips that was, or that loses, but that's a recipe for disaster. So. Yeah, no, okay. that's an oversight. It, it's going to be the, and he's getting the heavier, the one and a half inch top okay. handrail, yeah. in other words, the heavy, and all the spindles will be three quarter inch on a four inch center, because okay. he has a small dog, and he wants to keep it in also. And the points on the fence, he would like to have the fleur de lis instead of the X9 or whatever the little rounded point. And then what's being shown there is on the other side of the fence, the neighbor has a wooden fence uh, that runs all the way down and beside his, and he wants just to connect so it looks like one solid fence all the way across between him and the neighbor. Yeah. All right. Any other comments from the board? Is there anyone <coughs> from the audience to speak to this? Darby, make your way to the front. Darby Forrester with the Old Cloverdale Association. John and Tony, the owner, did come to our meeting and presented the plan, and we don't have any objection to it. Looks right. good. If there are no other comments from the board. Uh, May I have a motion? Madam Chair, move to approve as presented. Second. All in favor? All opposed? <coughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, board. Mm -hmm. uh, Dane Moore, request for, request for approval of alterations, exterior alterations to the property at 125 Hendrick Street, Cottage Hill. Yeah, so, so pretty, pretty serious renovation, pretty much. Uh, there's nothing there to save uh, 
on the exterior. Um, it, it just all needs to be replaced. These were triplets that were built uh, in the late 1800s that, uh, that were deteriorated. The Stern brothers had them and, and just let them just fall into serious disrepair. At one point, they were crack houses, and um, I took them on. Uh, I don't know if you got a picture of the corner house that, uh, yeah, that, that I, I redid. Mm -hmm. But in, it was in more serious condition than, than the one we're looking at here. And um, I just proposed to, to take all the siding off. I'll actually remove the roof uh, rafters and, and put a new roof, build a new roof substructure and, and new roof on it, new siding, new windows, doors, pretty much uh, you're gonna build a, a new house around an existing frame. Uh, there's just there's not a lot there to say. All right, any comments from the board? Sure. Do you, no, I'll, I'll speak into it. Do you, do you own the property that's right behind it, the one that's been redone, the really cute? Great job. <laughs> yes. Great job. It's Pardon absolutely me. cute. And are it. you going to make this house look just as cute as that one? Yes, cuter. it is. Right. Cuter. Sure. It's going to be cuter. Yes. All right. A labor of love. I, I, I live in that house, and uh, I'm just uh, really pleased with the way it turned out. I've done a, a lot of uh, of old house work in the Garden District. The, the house on the corner of uh, Gilmer and Frederick, the Craftsman style house that just recently mm -hmm. sold. Uh, I was instrumental in moving that house and putting it back together and adding the second floor. So, just to say that. You know, I understand what we're trying to accomplish here and, and you know, retain the flavor of the neighborhood. And um, that's what I want to do on the, on the house. Since it's right next to me, I, wanna, I want it to look good and, and um, I want it to last, uh, which is how I've treated this house that you're looking at. It's, it's built to last another hundred years and um, I want to do the same to 125. All right. <clears throat> Are the windows that you have drawn the uh, like the windows that were were in it at one time? If you know what they were. I'm so sorry. I, I, just, I'm not I'm, I know today. it's today. It's hard. The windows that you're putting in do they match the ones that were in there? Okay. 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 All right. Other comments? What, what uh, there's no indication of the color of the metal roof. You want to install a metal roof? Yes, I would uh, prefer. I've got a, a like an ash gray uh, uh, painted, you know, painted metal, uh, baked on metal, so, you know, for the longevity, but a nice, you know, just a pleasant ash gray. Are you using approved? Uh, are you using approved historic colors? Or are you going to come back with the color of, choice of, of the roof or the the house? The house itself. Well, I'll uh, talk to Christy about just uh, pulling something from the palette that okay. you know that's been approved. So again, we'll be we'll be very tasteful. We're and, and I see you're removing a hackberry tree. Are you replacing it with another tree? Probably not. It's in a very awkward uh, place, and the city has been kind enough to plant uh, those oaks uh, right there mm -hmm. on the street. The, the, these lots, there was a, this They're lot tight. was a 50 by 100. It was a church there in the, in the mid-1800s, and they tore it down. <laughs> they sold a 100-foot by 50-foot lot. A person bought it and divided it up into three lots, 33 oh, wow. and a third, and built these three houses so that the property line is on the, the that house sits on the property line. It is the, pretty tight. So 
Uh, that, that's okay. Not much, not much room for trees. And like I say, the city's been kind enough to, to plant some trees, and it, it's really looking nice. Well, well, typically when the tree's taken out, another one's replaced in kind. Is, is that being waived for this? It's a tight space. And, and the tree is, uh, if y'all don't approve the tree removal, I'm going to have to. No, I'm glad it's, about the tree. I just didn't know if you wanted right. to replace it. Can't, I don't see where to fit in. Okay. It's pre-replaced. He's already, he's already replaced it. Right. Any comments from the audience on this project? Well, the only, pardon me, Madam Chair, the only other thing I see is the siding. We've not approved this particular type siding for a main structure before, according to your comments, Kristen. No, um, you've approved it on outbuildings and additions, but we have not had a request for wholesale replacement. That was going to be my next question. Is anyone, I don't recall anyone ever asking. Not, not to my memory. Has anyone okay. requested that? First time for everything. Well, while normally, are we talking about putting hardy plank on it? Because I just saw lap siding on the drawing. Uh, normally, we would not approve replacing historic siding with hardy board, but I can honestly say that I don't think this is salvageable. I said normally we would not re approve taking siding off and replacing it with hardy board, but this is gone. It's gone. Oh, I agree. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. You're not going to salvage this. I agree that, that the siding as it stands now is not salvageable. So. If it does a really like that, it needs to be wider. The trim color. And then it would look like one of those jigsaw kind of Victorian railings. Are we really going to put the gorgeous stairs on the front of this little house? A curved stairway? A curved stairway? With open risers? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the railing? Yeah. The railing? Just straight? Pickets? Yeah, just straight pickets. Okay. Okay. Right. No comments from the audience? Madam Chair, I move to uh, approve as presented. All in favor? Oh, do we have a second? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that it? No. Clay Armstrong. No, it, that, that was withdrawn. Oh, okay. that, that one got. So we have approval of minutes and election of chair and vice chair. May I have a motion about the minutes, please? The minutes were the best I've ever read. Or read. The best uh, ever read? Yes. All right. uh, I approve, 100%. All in favor of approving the minutes? Uh, yeah. Opposed? All right. And did she say we have to elect the chair? <laughs> yes, ma'am, she did. I think she did. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> Not it. I move that we maintain our current leadership. Second. <laughs> Do we need to uh, vote? We have to vote on do that. Do we vote on that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You got a motion approved. and a second. Uh, Not you approved. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Madam Co-Chair, please pay attention. No. The motion was approved. 
current leadership stands. Cool. Congratulations. Thank you. It's my favorite job I we're, have. Frankly. We're very lucky to have both of y'all. Thank you. I'm looking at a good board. All right. Anything else? Let's go home.